Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's edition of Blazers Inside Access. I'm Kirk McDonald. A lot to get to this week, but let's start with our Seaspire Athlete of the Week. It's Hannah Young of the women's soccer team. Young had two goals in Bellhaven's 3-0 victory over Louisiana College on Saturday. Young and the Blazers are now 6-0 on the season, their best start since the 2008 campaign. They'll be back in action as they open up Southern State's Athletic Conference play on Friday against Emmanuel at 4.30. Then on Saturday, they host Southern Wesleyan University at 5 p.m. The Bellhaven men's soccer team showed its offensive power on Saturday, defeating Louisiana College 6-1. Six different Blazers scored goals in that game as Bellhaven improves to 4-2-1 and one on the season. The Blazer men will also open up the Southern State's Athletic Conference schedule on Friday as they host Emmanuel College at 7. And then on Saturday, they take on Southern Wesleyan University at 7.30. The Bellhaven volleyball team played well this past weekend but came up just a bit short in matches against Brunel on Friday and Faulkner on Saturday. The team, however, rebounded on Tuesday night with a resounding 3-0 victory over Tougaloo College in Rugg Arena. The Blazers are on the road again this weekend as they travel to Spring Hill College on Friday and then battle the University of Mobile on Saturday. The Bellhaven men's and women's cross-country teams both competed in the Martin Epps Classic this past weekend out in Choctaw Trails in Clinton, Mississippi. The Bellhaven men finished fifth overall, and Doug Mummy had an individual finish of fourth with a time of 27-28. It was the best finish in head coach Christy Barber's 14-year tenure here at Bellhaven. The Bellhaven women's team finished sixth in the event, and Mackenzie Riles was the top finisher for the Blazers, coming in at number 17. The Bellhaven football team opened up the Mid-South Conference cross-divisional schedule this past weekend against 8th-ranked University of the Cumberlands. The Blazers fell in a tough battle 41-17. Bright spots in the game, though, were Aaron Spikes carried the ball 24 times for 122 yards and a touchdown. The other score was put on the board by Darrell Williams, a three-yard touchdown run. Bellhaven will try and bounce back again this weekend as they open up the Mid-South Conference Western Division schedule, hosting Cumberland University out of Tennessee this Saturday at H.T. Newell Field. Kickoff is at 1.30 p.m., and you can catch all the action on the Blazers Sports Network at our athletics website, blazers.bellhaven.edu. There you'll find live audio and live stats of Saturday's broadcast. That wraps up another edition of Blazers Inside Access. I'm Kirk McDonald. Thanks again for joining us this week. And don't forget about all the action taking place in the world of Blazers athletics this weekend. Men's and women's soccer hosting Emmanuel on Friday and then hosting Southern Wesleyan on Saturday. Bellhaven football is at home to take on Cumberland University at 1.30 at H.T. Newell Field. And volleyball is on the road at Spring Hill Friday and the University of Mobile on Saturday. Be sure and stay up to date on all the latest news and information surrounding the world of Blazers athletics on our athletics website, blazers.bellhaven.edu. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Bellhaven Blazers.